Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will give another example on interpolation. See the statement of the given problem. Given that sin 45 degrees is equal to 0 0.7071, sin 15 degrees, 50 degrees is given to you, sin 55 degrees is given to you, and uh, finally sin 60 degrees value is given to you. You should find out sin 47 degrees using Newton's interpolation formula. You have to decide that whether we are going to apply Newton's forward otherwise backward interpolation formula according to the data. Okay. Here indirect data is provided to you. That's why we should write the data again in a table of form. So I will write x values and uh, I will take y as sin x. Here given function is sin okay we can easily identify that given function is sign here from the given data x values are starts from 45 degrees and uh, second one is 50 degrees and next one is 55 degrees and finally 60 degrees is given to you and uh, sign with respect to sign 45 value sign 55 50 degrees 55 and 60 are also given to you sign 45 is 0 0.7071 and it is 0 0.7660. Right side values are nothing but functioning values. 0 0.8192 and 0 0.8660. You should find out the value of sin 45, 47 degrees. Nothing but we have to find out the sin x value at the point x is equal to 47 degrees. Also we are observing that interval difference is each x value is separated by the 5 degrees. That's why given data has equal parts and uh, x value is equal to 47 degrees lies at the first interval. That's why I'm going to apply Newton's forward interpolation formula. See, first of all, you should construct forward difference table. Write x values and y is equal to sine x values delta y second order delta square y 1 2 3 4 since four values are given in the data up to third order forward differences exist in the difference table okay delta q write x values 45 degrees 55 degrees sorry 50 degrees next value is 50 and next one is 55 degrees and finally it is 60 degrees 0 0.7071 and 0 0.7660 0 0.8192 and 0 0.8660 okay we have to find out the differences see lower value minus upper value 0 0.7660 0 minus 0 0.7071 I got 0 0.0589 next 0 0.8192 minus 0 0.7660 which is 0 0.0532 0 0.8660 minus 0 0.8192 I got 0 0.0468 next lower value minus upper value which is 0 0.0532 minus 0 0.0589 minus 0 0.0568 I got negative this value can be written as minus 0 0.0057. 5 should be third decimal place. Okay. And 0 0.0468 minus 0 0.0532. It would be written as minus 0 0.0064. Okay. And finally, minus 0. 0064 minus of minus plus 0 0.0057 it would be minus 0 
triple zero four seven should be fourth decimal place. Okay, so we have to write what is our aim in this problem. See, we have to find. I will write below. We have to find sine of forty seven degrees. That is, we have to find y of x at the point at the point x is equal to forty seven degrees. Okay, please highlight x value with your box. Clearly, this point is at the starting of the tail. Forty seven degrees lies between forty five and fifty. Which is starting interval of the data. Hence, Newton's forward interpolation formula. Suppose we have to find out the value of sine fifty-seven degrees, and fifty-seven is at the end of the data. In that case, we have to apply Newton's backward interpolation formula because fifty-seven lies at the ending of the data. That's why in that case we can apply Newton's backward interpolation formula. Don't forget it. Newton's forward interpolation formula. That is, you should write the Newton's forward interpolation formula for given data only. It's enough. Which is y not plus p into delta y not plus P into P minus one by two factor into delta square y not plus P into P minus one into P minus two by three factor into delta cube y not. Okay. Here we have to find out P value in Newton's forward interpolation formula. P is nothing but x minus x not by h. That is equal to what is x value? Forty seven degrees. Okay. Minus what is x not value? Forty five. By what is the interval difference? H is equal to five here, which is two by five. Nothing but zero point four. Okay, P is always positive in the Newton's forward interpolation formula. Don't worry. Now, whenever we are going to apply Newton's forward interpolation formula, you should round off the first corner values. Okay, this is x naught, so this is y naught, so this is delta y naught, and this is delta square y naught. And delta q y not. You should replace these all values. You will get y of what is x? Forty seven degrees. Y is nothing but our given function sine x. That's why you will get sine forty forty seven degrees now. What is y not? Zero point seven zero seven one. What is p value? Zero point four into delta y not. Zero point zero five eight nine plus p into p minus one. Zero point four into 0.4 minus 1 directly I wrote as negative 0.6 by 2 into 2 factor we can bring it as 2 delta square y not it is negative minus 0.0057 plus p into 0.4 into 0. negative 0.6 into 0.4 minus 2 which is minus 1.6 by 3 factor 6 into last value. Minus zero point triple zero four. Okay, so here also I will give you a wonderful technique to you. Directly I will find out the sine forty seven degrees by using scientific calculator. Okay, make sure that your scientific calculator should be in degrees mode because here given data is provided in degrees only. So see here, our now I am my calculator is in radians mode, shift mode. So Third one is degree. Now my calculator is changes to degrees mode. See once check the value of sine forty five degrees. Zero point seven zero seven one. Okay, given data is given in degree mode. That's why I am calculating sine forty seven degrees, which is zero point seven three one three. Okay, surely you will get the similar answer if you calculate this entire value in our calculator no doubt at all that is the advantage of newton's forward interpolation formula you can check this value you will get the similar value 
to save our time in our examinations i am telling this trick directly i am copying the value of sin 47 from scientific calculator okay it is not necessary to calculate this entire part okay just be careful about last value of the difference table it's enough okay after that blindly you can substitute these all values in Newton's forward formula and copy the climax answer from the calculator it's enough okay thank you very much see you to next video in the next video i will give some more examples bye